China, man. China. Looks like a portrait design. This is like the, we're gonna have a Far East edition of Diamond Brothers. She hit it with like a, the Bruce Lee. Wah! That colorway, right? What's up, everybody? Diamond Brothers here. Today, we're gonna talk about basketball shoes where game meets style right here on our YouTube channel. Let's get it. Support by Charlie Mobile, the fun network where you and your friends stay connected. Welcome to the channel where ball is live. Let's talk about the sneakers that get us there. I'm G Money, and as always, Amigo is behind the camera. And we're going far east, Amigo. Today we have the 361 degrees AG4 Soar. The long name. Traction and tech. So let's talk about the traction in the AG4. As you see it from the heel to the forefoot, it's got like this Wi Fi signal looking traction. And it's okay, you know, the grooves aren't so deep. On a dusty court, they were kind of slippery. And on a clean court, they didn't really hold up too well. So I wouldn't say it's a strong point um, of this shoe, but it does get the job done. You won't slip out. But the, I, we do, we've reviewed better traction setups than the AG4. So it's decent. The rubber is kind of soft. It's not that heavy either. And we'll get into that. Let's talk about the tech a little bit here. Right here on the side, it's really hard. Like a hard rubberized lateral containment. So when you're moving and shifting, your foot doesn't technically roll over, they call it. So that really helps their important piece of tech in the shoe. Uh, the upper is not part of the tech, it's just you know a cheaper upper, but um, the main tech, amigo, is the inside of the shoe. It features, let me bring it in, a drop-in midsole. Now a drop-in midsole means if you pull this out, there's literally nothing between you and the, and the floor that you're stepping on. All of the tech is in here. So what makes this interesting is you use a foam that's really bouncy, very comfortable on foot, underfoot, and then they line the drop-in with like a sock liner so your your foot stays stable when you get sweaty feet but the most important and interesting part is this is the first time that we've been introduced to a carbon fiber shank plate inside of them drop in midsole in the sole it's inside there wow. so that makes this super super bouncy and i think this is the highlight of the shoe this piece right here so, There's shank in the shoe? No shank in the shoe, literally inside of this drop-in. And it's an amazing piece of tech. I think a lot of companies are gonna follow this model. Um, but, you know, the traction's okay. This is the highlight for the tech piece. And uh, I'm gonna talk about that a little bit further when we get down into this review. Traction test time. That's horrible. It's moving. Cushion and fit. All right, let's talk about the cushion and the fit here on the AG4 Soar. So the cushion, there's literally nothing uh, here in this rubber area. There's no foam to help support cushion. It's, if you just have this on, then there's your foot and the floor. So that's where the drop-in, where we talked about plays the most important piece for the cushion. All the foam is here for the shoe. So it's actually a very comfortable cushion setup and very bouncy. Uh, you'll enjoy playing in this drop-in midsole. Uh, outside of that, the other areas of fit, I would recommend you actually have to go down a full size in these. I'm not sure why 361 degrees screwed up the sizing. Um, I usually wear a men's 12 in basketball shoes. This is a men's 11. 
and it's sized completely odd. So whatever size you are, size down a full size, you will not be disappointed. It's a one-to-one -one fit as long as you go down a full size. Fit-wise, they have this quick lock lacing system and it goes pretty high up the ankle, so you really feel locked in. Um, that's a, a really important piece here. Kind of attracted me to shoe because it's pretty high up and it looks cool that way. You use both loops up there? Yeah, you use both loops, really lock it down tight, long enough laces as you can see here to get the fit that you really want in this shoe. So cushion setup really depends on that drop and midsole like we talked about, everything is in there. Fit wise, go down a full size and you can lock down really, really well in this shoe. Materials and style. So the AG4 actually looks really freaking cool, right amigo? Almost like a driving shoe. I like it, it's gold. It's gold and I think it looks unique. I think the style gets a lot of style points in my book. Um, people really notice the shoe on the court when playing in them. I think it's a very unique style and it uh, does well. Materials wise, they definitely went cheap. Here on the bottom, let me press this in for you. Really cheap rubber, it's so thin and the traction isn't good like we talked about. Uh, the upper materials, it's like a scratchy plastic, not that good. It doesn't feel great on foot either. Uh, the tongue here is actually pretty good. Very well padded, good materials used. And even in the ankle collar, they use a nice padded collar here for your ankle and it feels good to touch as well, but it's nothing premium. So all in all, very unique style, not great, not premium materials, but a good balance of both. All right, amigo, it's your favorite part. It's Easter egg time. Let's see you. All right, so the AG4 has a lot of cool Easter eggs, amigo. Let's get into it on the outside of the shoe first, and we'll work our way around the shoe. So what's cool here is the red. This, this is like an Easter egg for the Bruce Lee scratches. And I think that's a really cool way to implement it. They did it right into like this lateral stability piece. They put a little design feature in there to make it look like it's been scratched up and it's bleeding, which is cool. They have um, Aaron Gordon, his name. So AG, that logo is Aaron Gordon. This is his shoe. And they also have it up here with more Bruce Lee scratches. I guess they want to make sure you understand this is a Bruce Lee themed shoe. Then as you also, I don't know if you could get this amigo, you zoom in or I can just kind of tilt it. You could see like a snake skin feature, which I noticed and I thought was really cool. Maybe paying homage to Kobe. And I thought that was awesome. Um, up here in the forefoot, you see Aaron Gordon's signature. Something basic, but I guess you can confirm if you got an autograph. Um, and then going inside, we're gonna go turn this shoe around a little bit. Here on the other side of the forefoot, looks like the logo for 361 degrees. Make sure you understand that's their shoe. And then uh, we have we have something that write in writing that says obsession is going to beat talent every time and they highlighted the word obsession in red so again bruce lee theme and then you have here the water drop bruce lee's famous quote be water so they um made this actually really premium feeling and they used gold thread amigo i thought that was a nice touch drop and bucket huh? drop and buckets be water make your movements fluid and then here in the heel Again, the water drop, more Bruce Lee reference right here. And uh, it's different on this heel. It makes you, if you can't understand well, that, it. It says it, be water. So I thought that was really cool. On the tongue, you see 361 degrees, their logo, and it's kind of hologram with the AG logo in the back. So that's a nice touch as well. And then there was something we I'm missing. Oh, here we go on the heel. 
it talks about the birth date he was born the city he's from san jose and how he was in the 2014 draft first round pick number four so he's had a successful career aaron gordon's got a championship um outside of that that is a lot of easter eggs really cool this is a bruce lee themed shoe very legit very legit you know so whatever you do don't roll the dice Court feel. All right, let's talk about my experience playing in the 361 degrees AG4 Soar. Uh, so this was an interesting shoe. I actually did play in these in two separate ways and we'll talk about that. So playing it in the setup it comes in, um, let's, I went down full size to make sure the fit is good and I locked my laces down tight. Uh, the traction was probably one of the poorest features of this shoe didn't do well at all i don't understand i played on dusty court clean court i even tried to wipe down every play they didn't figure out something right with the rubber here but uh it was okay not bad the drop in midsole really was the shining piece of it let me go here on the bottom this bubble really kept stability in the shoe from the from this really soft shitty rubber so i would say um core feel wise this is a great shoe for maybe a power forward or a center any other player you're not getting much out of it. it's too heavy uh very bottom heavy there's no ankle mobility because when you tie them down tight this is not really a flexible material so you can't make your moves without any comfort um so Big man shoe for sure. Looks like a big man shoe. Plays like a big man shoe. Aaron Gordon is a big man. So. Didn't you say there's a cheat code with the inserts on other shoes? Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna get into. The the main reason I actually got these shoes is for the drop in midsole. I took these out of this shoe and I put them into a Kobe Eight. Why'd you do that? It was incredible this foam is amazing that shank we talked about put that in a kobe 8 that shoe goes up to another level that is not even you know understandable it is a super shoe so this is worth all the money this is just comes with this let's put it that way so you're buying the insert you're buying the drop in midsole because it is going to be amazing in old kobe's kobe 8s you could try to put them in GT Cut 1s. Like, this is incredible stuff right here. So this is the future tech. This feels awesome. Core feel and core experience with this in a Kobe 8, unfreaking believable. Just directly with this shoe, it's for bigs. If you are okay with buying the shoe for the drop-in, I suggest buy it. Full size down on what they offer but buy that drop and it is amazing. All right guys, it's time for our diamond rating on the 361 AG4 Soar. So we talked about the traction, the tech, and as you saw in the traction test, it did horrible. It's no different. This is bad traction setup, bad rubber they use, not deep enough grooves. They didn't do well in traction. The tech wise, uh, we talked about how all the tech is inside of the drop in midsole. I think I've repeated that like too many times this video, but this shit is amazing. The, we talked about lateral stability here, which is good, helpful for the shoe. We talk about the cushion and the fit, how you have to go down a full size to match up with how 361 degrees is offering shoes. The lacing system is awesome, gets you really locked down tight. The cushion is all on the drop-in foam, which is nice and comfortable. And they have that extra comfort here around the ankle to help with lockdown. We talk about materials and style, how this kind of looks like a driving shoe, but 
it kind of looks cool. The style is awesome. The materials they use aren't the best, but aren't the worst. Yeah, the color. yeah and it's a Bruce Lee colorway, so I think it stands out nice on the on the court. And then we talked about my court experience. Uh, how it's a heavy shoe, more like a big man style game. Uh, it didn't really work for the point guard, shooting guard, or the wing position. It was good for like a center or power forward, that kind of shoe. It wasn't my favorite. Um, but for sure, this drop in midsole really, really helped the rating on this shoe. Like this is, this is majority of the points go right here, but we don't rate on a drop in. So all in all, good shoe. We talked about it. Um, I would give this a 7.75 out of 10 diamonds. So lace up, comment, hit like and subscribe, and come ball with us. It's more than a game, it's a way of life. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Well, I guess if you know, you know kind of thing. Yeah. Right?